Refugees are welcome here. Say it loud, say it clear. Refugees are welcome here. U.S. President Donald Trump's temporary travel ban covering seven majority Muslim countries sparked protests across the United States and around the world. But when asked how he measured the rollout of his travel ban, Trump said this. We had a very smooth rollout of the travel ban, but we had a bad court. We got a bad decision. We had a court that's been overturned. Again, may be wrong, but I think it's 80 percent of the time. Last week, three appeals court judges unanimously upheld a freeze on Trump's travel ban, dealing a blow to a major White House initiative. We had a bad decision. We're going to keep going with that decision. We're going to put in a new, uh, a new executive order next week sometime. The president says the new executive order will address the judge's concerns. During the hearings, they raised questions about how many Muslims would be impacted, whether the order was designed to target Muslims, and whether the U.S. president has the right, under the country's constitution, to implement such a measure. We can tailor the order to that decision and get just about everything, in some ways more. Meanwhile, spurred by a separate Trump immigration order, the U.S. government staged raids in five major U.S. cities last week, arresting more than 680 people. The Department of Homeland Security says three out of four were criminal aliens or had been convicted of crimes. But at least one of those arrested was in the U.S. legally, protected under a program put in place by former U.S. President Barack Obama. Federal officials say the 23-year-old is a gang member. Under DACA, Obama delayed the deportation of hundreds of thousands of young immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. Throughout the U.S. presidential campaign, Trump said he would be tougher than Obama on immigration, but he has still not said what he would do differently with the DACA program. But Thursday, he said he would use compassion. I have to deal with a lot of politicians, don't forget, and I have to convince them that what I'm saying is, is right, and I appreciate your understanding on that. But the DACA situation is a very, very, it's a very difficult thing for me because, you know, I love these kids. I, I love kids. I have kids and grandkids. Another interesting part of the press conference was uh, Trump sharing some insight on why he implemented the travel ban. So suddenly, you know, we kept hearing uh, the White House defend the decision as they would give the bad people a chance to get in. Uh, he actually says that that was General John Kelly's, his Department of Homeland Security secretary's argument to him. He was willing to give uh, about a month for the implementation, even a week. But he says Kelly told him that would allow these, quote, bad people to come in. Yeah, this travel ban, though, is costing him uh, support from some Asian Americans. What do we know about that? This is really interesting. We've just learned that 10 members of the president's Advisory Commission on Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders, which has been around since the late 90s, have resigned. This happens after six of them resigned on Inauguration Day. There are just four people left on what used to be a 20-person commission. Very interesting All related day. to the travel ban. Yeah, very interesting yep. day here in Washington. Thanks so much, <laughs> Jessica.